Ah, uh, good idea as well. We're in a bit of luck here. Bit of luck, I found the old uh, wash machine pump out of an old um, mid 1990s Simpson wash machine in a scrap metal bin. Me and my containers aren't my dad's cousin place. Decided to gut that out and get all the, all the motors out of the dishwashers and then those skips as well. Although the motors are not like this one. Different size shafts, the seal design's different and everything. So I'm stuck with this one and the bearing. But I can at least replace this seal on this pump. That whole seal should press out and fit into that one. It looks the same. So hopefully that'll fit. So that's that taken care of. That just leaves this. It's pretty easy to take out. Just under those hose clamps, under that clip and the motor just pops straight out and unplugs under here. Very, very service and user friendly. I like that. Well, this thing's 1981. It says this, this dishwasher was made in 1981. But all these parts are dated 1977. The whole lot. All the electronics are dated in 1977. It's pretty uh, done very well. It's only got these two faults. My main problem is that back bearing in that motor. There's vacuum cleaner motor or something. I think vacuum cleaner motor shafts are the same size, so a bearing should pop out in one of those that fit in here. So I want to fix this thing with next to no cost at all. Because, uh, yeah, it'd be a shame to scrap this machine. I've got to make a bit of room in my container for it too. Which isn't going to be a problem. For this, I'll just done very well. If it's survived this long, it's done very, very well. Anyway, you got to pull those off. In the pressure support, this pump apart. There's a date code, 5th 77. 7th 77. It's a Ibmel Española, Madrid, Spain. Spanish made motor and pump assembly. Pretty, uh, very um, good design, I like that. It's like a bloody oil seal from a motor. You just pop it out and pop a new seal in. Yeah, it's rusted, that's part of the reason why it's leaking. The rubber, rubber deteriorated and it's just rusted too. Look at that. It's still, the seal itself is all up. It's just, uh, it's not gone the plastic or anything. But the, um, it's not, it was obviously not made of stainless steel. So the Simpson filter, I popped that out. It was like that, I popped that out and popped the, uh, the out of its enclosure. And that's going to go on like that, that way. And that'll fix it. I'll see how it goes back together. And if the um, motor assembles all right with this in the way, Get, I'm being obstructed, then I'm going to glue it on. We've got a water seal there instead of there. So that'll be that hack job done. That'll fit like that. That'll be this taken care of. Huh. Old vintage coloured windings. That'll sit like that on there. Like that. Put some uh, silicon spray on that. So it doesn't damage this seal. And that'll be the new seal. Easy. Beautiful. Once that's glued on, that shouldn't leak again. And that'll be this taken care of. There's some bearing stuff there when a jaw started it and the screwdriver hit the edge of the um, motor housing in here. And look at in here, I can see some copper in there. This might be a brass sleeve or something in there. A brass sleeve bearing. <laughs> yeah, it's not sitting very straight. 1981, the rest are from 1977. Possibly been replaced in 1981, but I don't know. Somewhere around there. It's under all those screws to pull that off. Well, no, I touched that just yet. Under these bolts here and pull this back part off. Have a look at that bearing. See what sort of what type of bearing it's got. Next size up uh, socket here. Pretty good design. I like how it's designed like this. Everything's recyclable, so to speak. Which they still made appliances like this. Okay, viewers, it's a copper pipe sleeve bearing in here. That's not hard to replace at all, that's easy. So you can see what I did with a drill there, see? I missed it a heap of times, it's been sitting kidding. And when a rotor hits, or it's not centre, the magnetic field pulls it and it sticks to the um, stator 
and the motor can't turn, it just sits there humming. It just has to be completely free on all sides for it to work, spin. So I can, uh, that's an easy fix. Get a bit of copper pop and place that or just bend that a tiny bit and pack around it to the centre of it again and re lube it. Next thing up is to get this seal fixed. So we do a botch job there too, like any other one. Easy fix. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.